Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got these uh, two concentric uh, circles with a common uh, center O. And as a result, we get this uh, blue shaded uh, ring. And moreover, this code AB has been uh, divided into three segments. This uh, segment AC is uh, five units. This segment uh, CD is uh, four. And finally, this uh, segment uh, BD is uh, five units as well. And now our task is to find the area of this uh, blue shaded ring. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, let me go over these uh, concentric uh, circles. And as a result, we get uh, this uh, blue shaded ring. And this uh, ring is also called uh, annulus. And since this shape uh, resembles like a donut, so we may call it donut as well. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and label uh, these uh, radii of uh, these uh, circles. Let me go ahead and call this uh, radius of this uh, smaller circle as uh, lowercase r. And this is the radius uh, of this uh, big circle. Let me go ahead and label this one as uh, uppercase r. And now let's go ahead and make an observation. We can see that the area of this uh, blue shaded ring is equal to the area of this uh, big circle minus the area of this uh, small circle, as you can see in this uh, equation. And now let's recall the area of a circle formula, area equals to pi r square, where r represents the radius of the circle. So therefore, the area of this uh, big circle is going to be pi times uppercase r whole square. And likewise, the area for this uh, small circle is going to be pi times lowercase r or square. So let's go ahead and substitute uh, these area of this uh, big circle and the area of this uh, small uh, circle in this equation. So therefore, our this equation is going to become uh, this equal to the, I'm going to replace these values. This is going to be pi r square minus uh, pi times lowercase r whole square. So therefore, we can see that this uh, blue shaded ring area turns out to be pi r square minus uh, pi r square. And now we can see that pi is in uh, common. So therefore, I'm going to factor out pi outside and we are ended up with uh, uppercase r square minus uh, lowercase r square in the parentheses. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number one. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw some auxiliary lines. That's why I have drawn this diameter EF that passes through the center O and this point C. And now let's recall the intersecting chords theorem. If two chords intersect in a circle, then the products of the measures of the segments of the chords are equal as you can see in this uh, diagram. And here we can see that these are two chords when they intersect each other, we get these uh, line segments A, B, C and D such that uh, A times B equals to C times D. And now we are going to apply this uh, theorem in our case uh, and we can see we got these two intersecting chords uh, AB and uh, EF. Now let me go ahead and call uh, this uh, line segment uh, as an A, this uh, line segment uh, as a lowercase uh, b and likewise uh, this uh, line segment uh, as a c and this whole line segment uh, as a lowercase uh, d and now we can see that this is the radius of this big circle represented by uppercase r likewise this one is represented by uppercase r as well and this is uh, our radius for the smaller circle. So we're going to represent it by lowercase r. Likewise, this is lowercase r as well. So therefore, we conclude that this whole line segment uh, EC is going to be 
अपर केस आर प्लस लोअर केस आर एंड लाइक वाइज दिस लाइन सेगमेंट सी एफ इज गोइंग टू बी अपर केस आर माइनस लोअर केस आर सो वी कैन सी नाउ दिस लाइन सेगमेंट ए टर्न आउट टू बी इक्वल टू अपर केस आर प्लस लोअर केस आर दिस लाइन सेगमेंट बी टर्न आउट टू बी अपर केस आर माइनस लोअर केस आर एंड लाइक वाइज दिस लाइन सेगमेंट सी इज फाइव यूनिट्स एंड दिस लाइन सेगमेंट बी सी विच इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाई डी इज गोइंग टू बी फोर प्लस फाइव दैट इज गोइंग टू गिव अस नाइन यूनिट्स सो लेट्स को हेयर एंड सब्सिट्यूट दीज ए बी सी डी वैल्यूज इन दिस फार्मूला अब वी कैन सी आवर ए वैल्यू इज अपर केस आर प्लस लोअर केस आर टाइम्स बी वैल्यू इज अपर केस आर माइनस लोअर केस आर इक्वल्स टू आवर सी वैल्यू इज फाइव टाइम्स डी वैल्यू इज नाइन एंड नाउ लेट्स रिकॉल दिस फेमस आइडेंटिटी ए प्लस बी टाइम्स ए माइनस बी कुड बी रिटन एज ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर द डिफरेंस ऑफ टू स्क्वायर्स वी आर गोइंग टू अप्लाई इट ऑन दिस लेफ्ट हैंड साइड तो द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज गोइंग टू बिकम अपर केस आर स्क्वायर माइनस लोअर केस आर स्क्वायर इक्वल्स टू फोर्टी फाइव एंड नाउ लेट्स रिकॉल दिस इक्वेशन वन वी कैन सी द एरिया ऑफ दिस ब्लू शेड रिंग इज पाई टाइम्स R square minus uh, lower case R square, and we know we already figured out this uh, upper case R square minus uh, lower case R square turns out to be forty five. So therefore, I'm going to replace this uh, upper case R square minus lower case R square by forty five. So therefore, the area of this uh, blue shaded ring is going to be equal to pi times forty. Uh, Five It could also be written as forty-five times pi square units. So thus, the area of this blue shaded ring turns out to be forty-five pi square units, and that could also be written as approximately equal to one hundred forty-one point four square units. So therefore, this blue shaded ring area could be written as approximately equal to one hundred forty-one. Point four square units, and that's our final answer. Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.